Good day to all of you. So we're ready to learn about number conversions. So the first that we're going to learn is we're going to convert a binary number to decimal. So we have binary to decimal. So binary is base 2 and then decimal is base 10. So why is it base 2? Because it only has two numbers which is 0 and 1 while decimal we have 10 as we can count, that's our number system from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then 9 is the highest number. So let's have an example. So for binary number, you always have to, to remember that the numbers are always um, having digits of a collection of zeros and ones. There is no other number other than that. That is the only two values of the binary number. So let's have an example. So we have... Um, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So let's add more. 1, 0, point one one zero one base 2. So it's important, for example, for binary number that we have to put the base number so that we are clear that this number is a binary um, number, not a decimal number. So, the rule for converting binary to decimal is, first is you have to know how many digits are there. So, for this example, uh, before the radix point, so you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, we have a total of 10 digits for the integer and for fraction parts is we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 4. So first is we have for the integer part, so it's the left one, the left uh, collection of zeros and ones. Since this is 10, so we're going to subtract it by 1. So 10 minus 1 is equals to 9. So what is the, the use for that? So for this example, so we have um, put values for... Um, we have 1 here, so we have, okay, equal to 1 times 2 raised to 9. So the first um, uh, multiplier, so y2, because that is the base number of binary, and then 9, because we have 10 digits minus 9. So that's why it's 2 raised to 9. Okay, so next is we have... 1 times 2 raised to 8 plus 0 times 2 raised to 7 plus 1 times 2 raised to 6 plus 1 times 2 raised to 5 plus 1 times 2 raised to 4 and then let's continue we have plus 1 times 2 raised to 3 plus 0 times 2 raised to 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to 1 and then plus 0 times 2 raised to uh, okay okay so I have written a small 2 so okay let's continue 2 raised to 0 so that is for the integer parts. Okay, next is we have, how about the fraction parts? Since it's already 2 raised to 0, let's just continue. We have 1 times 2 raised to negative 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to negative 2. And then let's continue here. 0 times 2 raised to negative 3. And then plus 1 times 2 raised to negative Four. Okay, actually, um, for faster um, calculation, you can already omit those with have zeros because the value of any value multiplied by zero is zero. I only include it here for uh, um, better understanding. Okay, but if, if, for example, if you have limited time in computing, you, you can already remove. So let's just have a review. So we have one times 2 raised to 9, 1 times 2 raised to 8, 0 times 2 raised to 7, 1 times 2 raised to 6, 1 times 2 raised to 5, plus 1 times 2 raised to 4, and then 1 times 2 raised to 3, then plus 0 times 2 raised to 2, and then 1 
times 2 raised to 1 and then 0 times 2 raised to 0, then 1 times 2 raised to negative 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to negative 2, and then 0 times 2 raised to negative 3, and 1 times 2 raised to negative 4. Okay, so let's solve. So we have what are the values. Okay, we can already omit, of course, as I've said, we can already omit those zeros so that uh, you will not waste any more time for them. Okay, and then we have, so 1 times 2 raised to 9 is equals to, we have one hand, uh, rather 512. Why 512? Um, you have to multiply 2 by itself. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2, um, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, um, 32 times 2, 64 times 2, 128 times 2, 256, 256, and times 2, 512. So that's why it's 200, uh, 512. And not, okay, do not mistake it as 2 times 9, which is 18. No, you have to multiply 2 by itself. So that's why you will get 512. Okay, next is 1 times 2 raised to 8 is we have 250. 6 and then we have 2 raised to 6 is we have 64 and then we have 2 raised to 5 is we have 32 and then next is we have uh, 2 raised to 4 is 16 and then 2 raised to 3 is 8 and then 2 raised to 1 is we have 2 okay Okay, and then next is we have uh, for the decimal, uh, for the fractional parts rather. So we have 1 times 2 raised to 1. So before that, okay, so um, for easier understanding, so we have 2 raised to negative 1. Okay, we have 2 raised to negative 1. So in principle, so 2 raised to negative 1 to make, to remove the negative uh, exponent, we must put it uh, into a reciprocal. So, 2 raised to negative 1 would be 1 half. And then, this will be equivalent to 0 0.5. Then, this is also the case for 2 raised to negative 2. So, 2 raised to negative 2 is we have, okay, 2 raised, uh, 1 over 2 raised to 2, which is also equivalent to what? 1 over 4 or 1 fourth and then in um, decimal this is equivalent to 0.25 and then next is we have 2 raised to negative 3 okay so we have 1 over 2 raised to 3 and then this is equivalent to 1 over 8 and then this is 0 0.125 and then last but not the least, since for example, uh, for, uh, we're using four digits for the fractional parts, 2 raised to negative 4, so we have 1 over 2 raised to 4, and then this, e this is equivalent to 1 over 16, and then, then 1 over 16 is equal to 0 0.0625. Okay, you can derive that or um, easier just memorize if you want uh, for easier computation okay so next uh, let's go back with our um, example so we have 1 times 2 raised to negative 1 of course it is equal to 0 0.5 okay next is 1 times 2 raised to negative 2 is we have that is 1 fourth so 0.25 and then since we have 0 here and 1 times 2 raised to negative 4 is we have 0 0.0625 okay let's uh, compute so we have 5 2 okay so we have okay 5 plus 6 is 11 carry 1 5 plus 1 6 7 8 so we have 8 one two five and then let's also add this one okay so we have two plus six is we have eight plus four twelve plus two fourteen okay fourteen 
plus 6.20, plus 8.28, plus 2, we have 30. Okay. Carry 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 plus 5, 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. Plus 3 is 18. Plus 1 is 19. Okay. Then, carry 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. Plus 2 is we have 8. So, our total for final answer is, we have, okay, so let's just put it here. So, 890.8125. Okay, this is our final answer. Okay, uh, the question is, are we going to put base 10 here? Actually, this is optional because decimal is the number system that we are using and we are already um, used that we're going to write our own number. We, have, we don't have to write base 10 at the end because this is understood um, if, you, if you do not have any base number that it is base 10. Okay, how are we going to check if our answer is correct? So, there is actually the shortcut method. So, you can only use this, for example, if you have an, an, a certification exam or an exam, and it does not require you to show you the long method for this one, you can have the shortcut method. So, this is also used for checking, but this can also be used as solving unless um, the, the exam asks you for the solution for the long method. So, what, how, how is this uh, shortcut is done? So, we have this. And then, of course, the powers of 2, you have to put the values or the weights of each digit. So, we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8, 2, 5, 6, and 5, 1, 2. And then those ones, you're going to add it. So, we have 512, 256, and then 64, 32, 16, 8 and then 2 and then for this one for the fraction part is we have 0 0.5 0 0.25 0 0.125 and 0 0.0625 so that's just actually uh, this one that you're going to have an uh, addition operation so let's just review so so this is the final answer for this one so we have 890.81 so, let's have another example for reinforcement of our learning. So, okay. So, just remember, of course, the values for the um, uh, powers of 2 with negative exponents. Okay. So, let's have another example. So, we have 1001110111. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, we already, uh, for, uh, for this example, let's have 10 digits. And, of course, 4 digits again. So, 1, 0, 0, 1, base 2. So, for the long method again, so we have 1 times 2 raised to 9. Okay. Okay. Plus 0 times 2 raised to 8. Plus 0 times 2 raised to 7 plus 1 times 2 raised to 6 plus 1 times 2 raised to 5 plus 1 times 2 raised to 4. Oh, okay. Again, the 2 becomes an exponent. So, let me rewrite it again. 2 raised to 4 plus 0 times 2 raised to 3 and then plus 1 times 2 raised to 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to 0 and then plus 1 times 2 raised to negative 1 plus 0 times 2 raised to negative 2 plus 0 times 2 raised to negative 3, and then plus 1 times 2 raised to negative 4. So, again, let's get those uh, that has 1. Uh, 
Okay, so let's just remove those with a zero. Okay. Okay, so again, 1 times 2 raised to 9 is we have 512. And then we have 1 times 2 raised to 6 is 64. And then 2 raised to 5 is 32. And then 2 raised to 4 is 16. And then 2 raised to 2 is 4. And then 2 raised to 1 is 2. And then 1 times 2 raised to 0. Actually, any number multiplied with this one, we have 2 raised to 0. Any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. So that's why 1 times 1 is we have 1. And then let's include the fraction parts. So we have 0 0.5 and then we have 0 0.0625. So, in my first example, I did not, uh, actually, you can add it all together, but uh, I only separate it for the first example because of this, the limited space that I have. So, for this one, so let's add, so we have 5, 2, 6, and then 5, and then 2 plus 4, um, 6, plus 2, 8, plus, four, plus 6, 14, plus 4, 18, plus 2, 20, plus 1 is we have 21, carry 2, 1, 2, 3, plus 6, 9, plus 3, 12, plus 1, 13, okay, and then we have 1 plus 5 is we have 6, so we have 631.5625, and then to check again, so we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8, 2, 5, 6, and then 512. And then for the fraction part is we have 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.125, and 0 0.625. And then all the ones we have 512, 64, 32, 16, 4, 2, and 1, and then we have 0 0.5 and 0 0.0625. So, this is the um, number conversion from binary number to decimal. So, I hope that uh, you understood the principle of uh, converting binary to decimal. So, I hope that you'll also learn other number conversions because there is also um, decimal to binary and, of course, other number system. Specifically, um, this is used because, uh, first and foremost, the computer uses binary for its, of course, the, the raw data and then the octal for, for memory. And then for hexadecimal is the addresses. And then, of course, we need our decimal number system because that is our number system for that for us to totally understand um, the relationships between our number system and the the number system that is com uh, that the computer is using so see you again for the next lesson for the number system conversion thank you very much good day and stay safe